Good morning. This is Akashvani Kohima. The morning news read by Onala Tani. Government has convened an all-party meeting on Sunday ahead of the budget session of Parliament. During the meeting, the government will seek cooperation from all political parties to ensure the smooth functioning of both the houses of Parliament. The budget session will be held from 22nd July to 12th August. The union budget will be presented on 23rd July. It will be the first budget of the Narendra Modi government in its third term. Nagaland has been ranked 25th along with Meghalaya among all states in the SDG India Index 2023-24 and comes under performer status. The state also ranks first in SDG 5 gender equality in the index and is categorized as front runner in six goals, performer in seven goals and aspirant in two goals. This was highlighted in the fourth edition of SDG India Index for 2023-24, released by the Niti Aayog on 9th July. According to DIPR, Nagaland's overall composite score has improved from 61 in 2020-21 to 63 in 2023-24. The index uses 113 indicators mapped across 16 SDG goals to measure the progress of SDGs among 36 states and union territories of India. Further, it said that the state has consistently been working on improving monitoring process and tracking of SDG indicators, capacity building in data systems and strengthening internal review mechanisms within the state. This endeavour is made challenging by Niti Ayok's heavy reliance on secondary data in the report with no consultation mechanism with the state government. Further, the state government is taking these matters with Niti Ayok, emphasising the need for more rigour in this important process of SDG monitoring. Chief Secretary Dr J Alam has asked the NCS officers to set a good example at your workplace as people look up to them for leadership, respect, and integrity and also take pride in your work. He said, civil service is not to earn money but to serve the people, which is the fundamental objective. Dr. Alam said this during the inaugural function of mid-career training for Nagaland civil service officers at training block ATI Kohima yesterday. He said the training, being the first of its kind after the entry-level training, will help them develop new perspectives to look at things in a new systematic way and gain insights to solution. Being the backbone of the governance system, the Chief Secretary said the government has a lot of hope in the NCS offices and called upon them to give their best in whatever capacity they work. Deputy Secretary and Course Coordinator Asalia Lesse said 28 NCS officers in the rank of ADCs, Deputy Secretaries, SDO Civil and ESCs will be undergoing the seven-day training while 16 resource persons will cover topics relevant to administration. The Nagaland Building and Other Construction Workers Welfare Board, NBOCWWB, began a two-day special registration camp for interstate migrant workers and health screening camp at the Smart City Hotel construction site from yesterday. The camp provides labor card registration, eShram registration, bank account opening and medical checkup. Unveiling the camp, Deputy Commissioner Kumar Ramnikan urged the migrant workers to stay informed and register to avail the various schemes. He emphasized the importance of self-care and encouraged the workers to utilize the free facilities provided at the camp. Deputy CEO NBOCWWB Vikeheto Naki informed that Nagaland has 6.3 lakh workers engaged in the unorganized sector as reported by the National Statistical Office during the year 2017-18, while as on March 31, 2024, 2,887 migrant workers were registered under ISHRAM portal from Nagaland, constituting only 1.08% of migrant workers in the state. Naki urged all migrant workers in the state to get registered under the portal and come under the fold of the Labor Department. During the camp, the migrant workers were oriented with vector-borne diseases by the Health Department. Besides, mosquito nets and medicines were also distributed to all migrant workers. Additional Deputy Commissioner Sataka Zineboto, M.S. Tangpong, has informed that the portion of the road from Jekie village to Sukhai village will be closed for all vehicular movement from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. with immediate effect till further orders. A travel advisory issued by the D.C. yesterday stated that the closure of vehicle movement is initiated in view of the ongoing work for widening and upgradation of the Jekie Satoy Road and for facilitating the smooth implementation of work without interruptions. Therefore, travelers are advised to take the alternate Sataka 
Kuivi, Sukhari Rood, and vice versa. With that, we come to the end of Morning News. Have a nice day.